Hey booktube, welcome or welcome back to my channel, I am the book mage and first things first, before I go any further, I realise I might be looking kinda gross, particularly in like the hair department but I was at a gig last night. So naturally I'm feeling a bit gross and a bit tired but hopefully the focus of this video is going to be on some very, hopefully, pretty books. But yeah, if you can't tell though, it was a baby metal gig. £40 for this t-shirt, Jesus Christ. I feel like this is just the video of bad financial decisions so... <laughs> We're setting a theme. So yeah, onto the actual video. I don't typically tend to make, I guess, like, dedicated unboxing videos. Weirdly, the only other one of those I have done on my channel was for, like, the folio editions of, like, the Game of Thrones. I guess it's just something about this series. <laughs> but, like, I've, I've literally just done a haul video and, like, I really don't want to have to wait until my next haul to unbox these and I really want to, like, unbox them together. So I'm impatient. <laughs> We're doing it now. I also, weirdly enough, cannot seem to find anybody else's like unboxing or review of like specifically these products. There are a couple like unboxings and like reviews of like other Juniper books like dust jackets but for some reason not the Game of Thrones ones even though I'm pretty sure these are like a popular item so I'm taking one for the team and I'm especially taking one for the team because I live in the UK and shipping but we'll get on to that. <laughs> So before we unbox this um, incredibly heavy package, for anyone not already familiar I'm going to be unboxing the Game of Thrones armour dust jacket set from Juniper Books. From what I can see I think Juniper Books produce like honestly just nicer dust jacket sets for like completed series. And every time I've ever seen like a picture of these they just look so good, they just look so good on a shelf and I know I do already have some very expensive A Song of Ice and Fire sets but I don't really have an end to that sentence. <laughs> it's just, it's just but. <laughs> this is what we are going to be unboxing today and you can probably tell they do just have the option to get the dust jacket designs. However, I live in the UK. The dust jackets Juniper Books makes are sized for the American hardcovers so you can probably fit them around like most other hardcover books but pretty much all standard editions of the A Song of Ice and Fire series now are all paperback or special editions. So I have like a gigantic special edition illustrated hardcover which would not fit these dust jackets or I have like a paperback edition which again will not fit these dust jackets. Um, so it would be very very expensive if I wanted to go out and source like original UK hardbacks for this, even secondhand. I feel like that's going to be kind of expensive. So I did buy the set. <laughs> that comes with the books included. But I was convinced to do this because it also includes Fire and Blood and I do not have a copy of Fire and Blood. So when you think about it, really, it's not that bad. So without any further ado, I think it is time to unbox these. I will say these shipped and arrived like really quick. So this I think is Fire and Blood, so I'll put that to the side. They're in bubble wrap but like all in the same bubble wrap, so. Okay, so our first one out is A Game of Thrones and it just looks like lovely like especially the spine and I feel like this is a much easier to read copy than like most of the other copies that I have so the end papers are a map of Westeros I will say like the dust jacket is actually pretty like short the bit that wraps around so I guess if you did actually have like a larger um copy that like I guess if you read these in a different language or like you just have a different print edition of the book with only like this much wiggle room honestly they might not fit anything other than the American hardcovers so again <laughs> More reason why I went to the extra expense of getting like the physical book. I've just noticed there is some like warping on like some of the pages. It's not on the dust jacket so like it's fine. I'm not really bothered. These will be like reading copies anyway so. But the American hardbacks do come with like like nice chapter headers. So I don't really know how much you can see on camera but it's printed really well. It's got like a really crisp sort of detailed design and it's really simple. And sometimes I just like things that are really simple. Like I, I hate character artwork on books but I love something like this. I realise everyone's taste is different but like this is very much my taste. <laughs> I do have a special soft spot in my heart for books that look like they are a book from the world of the thing they are a book about. <laughs> so yeah this is a Game of Thrones book number one. I'm assuming, yeah, I was assuming they're in order, but they are. Um, this is A Clash of Kings. I love the design of this, like, there's no embellishing, there's no, like, foiling or anything, but I just, I really like the design, the spines especially. They're just gorgeous, and I think they are meant to, they're called the armour set, so they are meant to kind of evoke a sense of armour, I guess, but to me they just kind of look like, like a, like a flat image of a cool-looking in-universe book like a fantasy book or try to show it a little bit better mainly the spine like I love the spine I will try and put in like some nice b-roll like maybe towards the end at some point because my camera is always a bitch for like not focusing where I tell it to focus so 
So this one has these same end papers and this one's a little bit like, I think I might need to like refold this to put it on better because it's just a little bit loose, but honestly nothing I can't fix. Yeah, the chapter headers in these ones are different. So this one is a Storm of Swords. Again, I love the spines, <laughs> they're lovely. Oh, I have just noticed there are additional maps further on. I don't know if that was the case in like the earlier books, but um, there is a map for Beyond the Wall. One there for Valyria with some interestingly rendered dragons, but I'll go with it. So yeah, that's book three. Book four, A Feast for Crows. And I can't tell if this is maybe my favourite spine. And that's the back. Okay, yeah, they must have different maps in because this one has the Iron Islands and then like no other maps. So I guess they're just giving you like context maps and not like every map. So fine for me because I do have a giant like wall scroll sized map of the entire known world, which was from Folio Society because like I randomly won one of their giveaways for like a giant map, which I'm not mad about, but I still need to get like a frame for that and <laughs> put it up. It's been like years. And the last in the mainline series, this is a Dance with Dragons. I just think these look so cool. Like, I'm just a really big fan of like these designs. I know they're really simple. I know there's like nothing like fancy or special about them, but I just personally really like them. This one is Fire and Blood. So again, they just look really cool. I will say the printing on this one is just, I can't tell if it's just me. It looks very, very, very slightly blurry on the lettering on the front, but like not on the spine, the spine looks fine. I can't tell if it's just because it's like larger or what, but like if you just glance at it, it's not really noticeable. Um, so I don't have a copy of this book yet until now. Look at the end papers. Those are like amazing. I have no idea like what the UK version of this book looks like. Yeah, this is like beautiful. It's illustrated. I'm assuming like the UK version is as well. Either way, I have this lovely copy now. Yeah, this is what they all look like together. And I just think these are going to look fantastic on the shelf, although I might put Fire and Blood on the other side. <laughs> so yeah, I just really had not seen anyone else like unbox these and show them off on video. I'm sure there are like, there's probably like blogs or something that like maybe give like a review, but as if I'm gonna read a blog. If I'm reading, I'm reading books. Like I don't have time for reading a blog. <laughs> Too many books to catch up on. So I mean, I realise the appeal of them is like, that's my opinion, but I mean, they're my books, so like, of course it's my opinion. I would not have bought them if I thought they looked bad. I guess my thoughts about this is that if you have the American hardbacks, like, you already have hardbacks, and if you have a similar sized hardback, then I think just getting the dust jackets is probably, like, the best option. For me, I did not have that option because, as I've said, I don't have traditional sized hardcovers of this series, and if I were to try and get them all and then buy this, even if I bought just like new hardcovers from America, I would still have the same like shipping fees to get them to me anyway. So it was just so much easier to just buy everything from one place and then they come like already on the books for me. So I don't have to do that, which I like <laughs> because I don't like doing things. So ultimately I'm pretty pleased with this series. I really like how they look together. I wasn't sure like honestly what the quality of like the American books would be like because I'm used to British books. But these are fine, they're nice, they include the maps, Fire and Blood looks really good, so I'm pleased with it. In terms of the quality of the dust jackets, I think they're printed pretty well, they they fit nicely, the print is a nice quality, at least from what I can see. I think the only thing, and this is like a really personal thing, is that this texture of book cover is weirdly unfortunately like my least favourite texture of book cover. I didn't, it's kind of like that sort of buttery smooth. Um, feeling but the only reason I don't like it is I am a very like tactile kind of person it makes my hands feel really dry to touch it to be fair it's not like a massive issue because I take the dust covers off to read when I do read a book so it's not like it's actually gonna affect me I realize this is very specific to me there are just some textures that I don't like weirdly one of them is paper I don't like touching paper which like you can see might be a little bit of an issue um, I'd rather touch it than read on a screen so the lesser of two evils for me at least but yeah, weird tangent, but that's like my only gripe and it is a gripe that's like very specific to me. So probably onto the part of the video that I've been slightly avoiding because it's the part where I've been financially irresponsible. Um, I should probably talk about the price of these books. So for just the dust jackets and not the books, these are $90. And that's not including shipping, which according to the Juniper Books website in pounds is £74. So that is $15 each. That's $15 per book cover, which is like a little bit over 12 quid, I think. Which I think is slightly expensive, to be honest, for a dust jacket, considering like that's just the jacket and not the book. And they do produce like 
a lot of these dust jackets like that's their whole business so it's not like they're doing this on like a very expensive small scale that and like when i get special editions of a book that have like a redesigned cover that might have like foiling or whatever else on it the entire book itself is usually like around about like 20 to 25 pounds so and that comes with like the book itself and like a whole new dust jacket and then sometimes also like interior embellishments as well maybe like interior artwork or like end papers or things like that so i feel like when you compare like just a standard no frills attached dust jacket for like 13 quid so it's only a little bit more to get like a whole book with like all the bells and whistles and everything so i do think in that respect it is kind of expensive but i think sometimes if you like the set and if there are like no other like good cool matching editions because either the books themselves are out of print or like they changed part way through the series or you just don't like the original dust jackets which honestly valid <laughs> then it is an alternative the other thing i will say is i um did not purchase just the dust jackets i also purchased the books as well and you might have noticed by several contest clues in this video um i live in the uk so I don't get to take advantage of like the nice cheap domestic US shipping because I don't live there. <laughs> so this set with the books included I think normally costs 325 US dollars which is kind of insane um, and that according to my receipt is 266 pounds which is around about like 45 pounds per book which like that's that's almost double the cost of like a regular special edition that you would get in like a subscription box or like something from the broken binding and they have like embellishments so i do think this is a very expensive set for what you're getting what i will say is i did not pay full price because i'm not an insane person um i did have a 20 percent off voucher for these um it was like an easter sale thing and i've been eyeing these for years i've just really wanted them for like quite a while and i figured i've ignored many sales in the past because like it's a lot of money but I just kind of decided like it's on sale it's 20% off so I finally decided to get them so with a 20% discount these were 212 pounds which is a little bit over 35 pounds per book which again is expensive but I think that if I tried to buy all of these just with like the original dust covers in hardcover in the UK like secondhand I reckon it probably work out like not too much different from that anyway yeah I'm looking on eBay at the moment and a reissue set of just the five books, not including Fire and Blood, has started the bidding at like £100. Game of Thrones hardcover bidding starts at £45, that's just for one book. £300 for a five book set from HarperCollins, again, it's ridiculous. So even though this does sound very expensive, it is just the cheapest way for me to acquire all these books in hardback and have a nice dust jacket set as a bonus you can see like the internal logic in my brain the hamster on its wheel is just going a million miles an hour <laughs> like trying to make this add up i might be talking a little bit of copium to be honest but like i wanted this set it did just work out as the best option for me personally um i will say the part that hurt <laughs> the part that hurt the most was the 56 pound shipping to get this to the uk now that is like inclusive of like all taxes and fees and things um i think when i bought it it advised that this was like everything included and covered so i did not get an angry little email from like parcel force or royal mail telling me to pay like an extra 20 quid but yeah for us people that's like 70 dollars in shipping so you know <laughs> it's insane but at least in this instance it's my own money which as we know i can be like irresponsible with so i mean it's not but i'll get over it so ultimately do i think it was worth it i think for me in my situation yes because as i've said how else was i gonna get these aesthetically for me i'm so into it like i'm goth and i love medieval shit so like this oh magpie brain going off so yeah for me i'm pleased with my purchase um i don't regret it i will say i don't necessarily think i can recommend it if you're also in the uk unless you are in like a situation much like me for anyone that wants these i would say if you can get just the jackets and not the physical editions it's gonna be way cheaper and also if you live in the us or somewhere with like cheaper shipping rates then like 
yeah, fair enough. But for my UK mages, I feel like I can only recommend this to those who have like a, a similar mental instability as me. So, <laughs> a glowing endorsement, I know. I like them, I know exactly where they're gonna go on my shelves. You're not gonna be able to see them in the background of any of my videos, which like sucks because I'm putting them way on the top shelf, but I'll get to see them. And as we've learned, this video is all about pleasing me specifically. <laughs> so yeah, ultimately I think I really, really like this series. I love the designs, I think they just look really really good they're really striking next to each other on a shelf they're different enough that they don't feel boring but like the aesthetics all complement each other really really well so they fit nicely as like a nice cohesive set i really really like that i really really like the design choices that they've pulled from like yes history but also like the aesthetics of the tv show as well and like i realize this is like a review for the books but you can tell that they are also emulating specifically the vibe of the series and like the different design choices of the different parts of the world because yes having books that just look like vaguely fantasy medieval is also cool but I feel like you can take one look at these and immediately get the vibe of the Game of Thrones series like TV show. I feel like there's enough character there that you could guess what this series is just by looking even if you couldn't see the titles on them. And as someone who has coveted this set for a long time, I'm just kind of really glad to finally have them. And I'm trying not to think about when this series finally does expand and I have to buy additional copies in this series. But I'm sure they will look fantastic if and when they do ever come out. So yeah, that is my quick little unboxing and like, I guess, mini review of like this specific set from Juniper Books. I am a tiny insignificant content making mage, so I have absolutely no sort of discount code to offer you guys. But if this is something you want, they do seem to have like several sales over the year. I know they definitely have one around like Black Friday time, a Christmas or a New Year's sale potentially. I know they have an Easter sale because that's how I got these. So they're not going to go out of stock anytime soon. I guess if there's something that you also want maybe just hang on until there's a sale and then the purchase won't hurt quite so bad <laughs> so hopefully you guys have liked this video and hopefully for anyone who like was curious about this set and like what they looked like and what the quality was like hopefully i've covered everything but like if you have any questions you can ask them in the comments below and i'll try my best to answer them so with that said thank you so much for watching if you did make it this far in the video and like you want to leave a comment maybe leave me like a shield emoji because this is the armor set and I'll be honest, I don't remember if we have any, like, do we have, like, a helmet emoji? I don't know. And let me know what your favourite design was. Like, which one of these do you think, like, looks the best? I think, personally, my favourite is either a Game of Thrones or a Clash of Kings. I just, I really like them. So yeah, I'd love to hear what your favourite is. But otherwise, that is it from me, so hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!